Sandro be cooking it up. day I think last week but basically getting my stretch on because it is quite necessary as I'm getting older this PVC pipe and little stretches that we do really are starting to save my workouts and I look forward to them before doing them before my workout wait that didn't make any sense I look forward to doing the stretching before my workouts because it's like a relief, you know, after all the kids and getting overweight and then finally getting back into the gym, like the chiropractor and these little exercises, stretching exercises we do beforehand really help out a lot even though it looks like I'm in pain, but it's temporary, so it's okay. get pretty long around these parts and so this is just alternating lunges uh, that me and my brother are doing here as another warm-up type deal we did about three sets of these I think I wasn't really counting my reps I just know that I always start on my right leg and end with my left leg so to be honest with you I know some sets were longer than the others if it took a while to feel the burn, so I kind of just go with the flow with these, you know? if you guys hear animals and stuff but I'm, I'm outside it's peaceful so I'm doing my voiceover out here but they just put this plate loaded leg extension in the gym which me and my brother have been saying for the longest they need another one in here because they've only had one so now there's three there's one up in the front which one the one everybody uses because you know they like to be seen and shit whatever <clears throat> ain't no shame in your game whatever floats your boat but then they have these other two back here so they have this plate loaded one and then like to the left or whichever way right of the video there's uh, another um, one like the one out front but it's a little bit different but anyway this plate loaded machine <clears throat> leg extension is the truth I remember using one at a gym a while back I think it was either 24 hour yeah I think it was 24 hour fitness anyway that was some years ago but these they hit at a different angle and when I tell you like the slowing controlling or whatever you do on these you're gonna feel it in a different light and you're just gonna, you're gonna love it because I absolutely love it and I believe we did about three no we normally do about four or five sets on this I'm not sure if I recorded all of them but uh, as you can see we're using light weight it's not really necessary to use a heavier weight because my brother's all about functionality right now. Um, since a lot of the things we did when we were younger, like powerlifting and stuff, and then both stopping abruptly, it just, it made us age a lot quicker, I guess you could say. Like my bones are always hurting, so I don't mind using lighter weight and slowing control and everything. It does good for me and my brother as well, so yeah. But I think about four or five sets and I know the rep range range between <laughs> he tripped between like 8 to 12 reps This leg curl 
I mean, I hate it, but I love it. It's like a love-hate thing, you know what I'm saying? But um, on my first set, I didn't record the first set of mine, but on his set, I noticed that he wasn't going all the way up with his rep, so I had asked about that. He was like, usually when you go all the way up, you know, you lose that contraction of the hamstring all the way at the top, whereas when you do what he's doing where you're halfing the rep, or not, I don't, don't want to say half, like half do it, but you're getting like the full contraction all the way through it, which after doing it, I was like, oh, I was getting kind of a break swinging that thing and basically kicking my ass. So we did about three sets. We only normally do about three sets on these. Uh, so we do one with just a 10 or 25, normally a 10. And then on the next two sets, we'll do two 10s. Uh, but I'm not sure if this is a 25 here. I can't really see the weight, but I think it's a 10. It looks like a 10. If not, it's a 25. Either way it goes. So basically about eight to 10 reps on each leg with these. Said don't be cooking it up. Cooking it up. this machine in here too which I've only ever used it at a gym out here called Destination Dallas but it's like a squat machine a different version of it and right here we're doing some stiff leg deadlift so instead of using the belt that normally comes with it and tying it around your waist and doing squats we're doing we got one of the bars that they have over by like the cable system things they have set up and we just stiff leg, stiff leg it out, you know? Just like you would if you were to use the barbell and put plates on it, but it's a different angle, a different hit. And these felt fantastic. Everything feels fantastic. It hurts and it feels good at the same time while you're doing it, but you know, it's all the better yourself, so that's why I do it. But one of these actually with this set here we were stepped more forward and the bar was on like the second or third hook and i think the next set he moves it back a little bit for us so that way we're hitting at a different angle because i guess the angle he had at first he didn't really care for it but i think i believe we did three sets here as well and between 8 to 12 reps slow and controlled really squeeze that gluteus booteus maximus at the top type deal and really i really felt this in my hamstrings i'm not gonna lie especially after doing the leg curls right next to it <clears throat> but it's all worth it like i said so good shit the bulgarian split squats everybody's favorite there's two variations of this, I believe. You can be more upright, like my brother is here, and it's gonna hit more quad, or you can lean a little bit forward and you can hit more butt, or gluteus maximus, if I'm gonna be politically correct, which is what I was saying right here, because I didn't, I wasn't really paying attention because I was jamming and I had to ask. I know he hates when I does that, but you know, sometimes that music be hitting just right, so. 
right on the first set we had did it upright and then the next three sets we were leaning more forward because my bro was like oh yeah that felt a lot better yeah it does feel a lot better i mean you're still hitting quad but like the extra factor of also glute makes you be like wow this should really do be feeling good uh i think the last two sets that we didn't use the weight and it was more just like a burnout the burnouts of the last two sets on each leg like really feel it and pay attention you know put your mind in the muscle type stuff and we did four sets i believe and the rep range kind of varies with these so i think it was between 12 to 15 reps i'm gonna say 8 to 15 reps on each leg but i always try to stay the same on each leg her off the end of the workout I don't care what workout I'm doing because I said before I leave this earth this earth I'm gonna have calves and I'm gonna have shoulders so at the end of every workout whether I'm doing upper body also I always hit calves and also abs I'm not gonna lie because your midsection is one of the hardest parts to acquire I'm not gonna lie but yeah, so we finished off with calves here. This is the seated plate loaded one. And it felt really good. There's always like a little pause before I go all the way up, mainly because you can actually feel the contraction better and get the full extent of doing these calf raises here. And we did about three sets with eight to 12 reps on these as well. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.